I was gonna take this with me to do laundry and choose out a uh, and choose a wardrobe, but I'm almost done anyway, and I need to take out some meat for dinner. So I was thinking either shells or salmon patties, because I said last week I had I had thought of two dinners to have for this week. So I was like, maybe I don't have to take out meat if I do salmon patties, because I never do them with fresh fish. I always do them with. I think one of my girls just did a video where she did some salmon patties and she tried it with fresh fish for the first time. Now I don't remember that video. It might have been Nikki. I feel like I feel like if it was anybody it had to be Nikki, but it didn't have to be. I do know other people that are cooking whose cooking videos I watch. And since I have that big pot now, I can actually use my big pot. You girls don't reserve your bacon grease anymore, do you? I imagine you're not. I mean, especially since you're claiming to, since y'all are out here faking veganism. I kept my bacon grease for a really, really long time, but because I didn't use it for so long, I just threw it away. It's one of those proud moments where you, moments where y'all could be proud of me that I just went ahead and gave up the ghost. But since I don't use my fry daddy anymore because I, I use my fry daddy for fish and tater tots. Well, I'm frying the fish over the stove again because it's no easier in the fry daddy except that you just don't have to clean the fry daddy. So, yeah, I just went back to the stove and decided not to waste the space. I'm realizing how much space I'm wasting with utensils that I don't use. Blender, what did I use that for? I don't do smoothies anymore. All of my fruit. I'm, I am gonna make some cupcakes one more time though before I take the uh, blend, put the blender somewhere. But um, nope, I'm not gonna listen to that song. We're not going back down memory lane right now. So I have a lot of stuff to do in here in the kitchen to clean up the kitchen but i'll have to do that later oh what i was saying about dinner is that i do not need to take any meat out because one of the meals of the salmon patties which i didn't need to take any meat out for because i always use uh canned fish so i took the meat out so that i could make the shells even though that doesn't necessarily have to be thawed anyway but anyway i did thaw it out that makes a decision for me that i should probably make the shells for dinner which I love. Makes it easy. I mean, makes it easy to know what I want to make for dinner. Actually, it makes it easy to know what I want to make for dinner for the next two nights. So, I actually should have my dinner and wardrobe on the same... Ugh. If this earring fly out of my ear one more time... Quick five minute grits my ass. Better cook, better cook them grits. Cook and cook and cook them. And that was a bag. So you saw two of the pantry dispensers, uh, two of the these, and then that bag I just took down. I'm not gonna take that down. Oh, and then these that I took out of the other box, pantry box. So too much grits, but I do need oatmeal. I did put oatmeal on my grocery list, but I don't need to sit down at all today. Y'all help me today, okay? Don't let me sit down. I need to clean the kitchen tomorrow. I need to call people, but I don't really have time to call people this week. I have time, I can't make, I'm not, I just wanna, when I call people, I want the house to be clean so I can be in a good inner spirit energy when I talk to them. I can't be a beacon to unto others if I don't have my own spirit together. And if I talk to somebody socially and I have I'm trying to be cognizant of keeping the, the energy light in the conversation because this world has enough darkness for them. And we didn't get on the phone together to be dark all the time. Sometimes we're dark together just to acknowledge it because it's like everybody's ignoring it and that's how it continues. So just to acknowledge that, you know, validate our feelings of despair under the, our circum American circumstances. But, you know, you express that despair and move the fuck on and may make the brightest of the hands you've been dealt. And then do the best we can to work it out, you know. I do the opposite of what other people do because I actually, 
I actually normally take my my citrus out of the refrigerator and let it sit on the counter when it's going to be eating it. I keep most of them in the refrigerator because they actually have a longer shelf life in the refrigerator. But I like to keep a couple out on the counter at a time so that they're room to. Matter of fact, I'm talking this shit. Let me take a second one out. Second one and two lemons. Ooh, I'm glad I did that. This one looks rougher than this one. So I think I'll actually eat this one. I need to juice these two lemons. I need a, another hand juicer. Yeah, so I've showed you guys one time. I slice it the halfway, but I don't go all the way through. And then I do it halfway across, like I'm doing it in four parts, but not. And I do that halfway. So I did it all the way this way. And then I did half this way. So that way, um, when I'm eating it, I go ahead and just finish breaking it on off. And then I'll take the slit that I cut open, pull it apart. And then I'll eat it like our ancestors did. Like that. Mm -hmm. It is messy though. Cause we was in the jungle and shit. <laughs> mm. That's another reason I like to let it get room temperature. It's cold on my teeth. My lipstick is staying though, ain't it, huh? <laughs> Mm. and see how quick it is too so I open up that bad boy and I take the heel of my teeth and I come up under there and get that whole section out I bet there's no such video on how to eat a grapefruit out there so cut it across Cut it across halfway. And then you bend open that part you that quarter. See? Get the whole section out. I'm glad I showed y'all that before I finish. Cause it might still look like I'm not getting all of that. But I get most of the meat out using the heel of my teeth. The heel of my front too. Also, it's easy to pick out the seeds when you cut after you cut it in half. Pick out the seeds and toss them in the sink. I put mine right in front of me because because I forgot to narrate when I when I did that step. <laughs> but uh, y'all know I know y'all ain't out here eating seeds. Well, except for those of you who followed Sebi to a fault. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, when I said all your favorites be, <sighs> but I'm a chill because at least he did incorporate more truth in his ministry than most. You gotta let them people thrive. They doing the best they can for real, and doing a better job than most. So I'm glad he was able to uh, get through to some of y'all. I started eating the other half because. I'm going to need some rinds for my citrus stew anyway. Mmm. Mmm. That smell good. It smell like stem tea. And I didn't make no stem tea. I did. Oh, I know why. I know why it smells like stem tea. This is what I did. You know how sometimes you got you get your... Uh, I'll show you. Since I'm being productive, I'm going to keep moving. But I'm going to keep showing you. Every time I come up with these things, I'm going to show you on the spot because if I don't I'll forget them and y'all be able to tell that I'll be able to forget them because they're such a little bitty thing and then there are occasions there's the occasional thing I, can, I continue to come across that I might continue to bring it up and if I do and it's your first time hearing it consider yourself fortunate because I had no intentions of repeating that shit again <laughs> but I'm going to do a better job of recording these little tidbits because if I'm going to be a full-time YouTuber 
which I guess that's what the fuck I'm been in denial about being. And that's what the fuck I do. If I, if I upload, I don't care if the chronological order is out of whack. I do that for things like stop for, for I do I do that for things like predators because y'all don't be paying attention to the people that be paying attention and so and not uh, and a lot of them ain't on the up and up but anyway a lot of the videos I post they're not in chronological order they're often not in chronological order but they're all real and they all happen and you know maybe not in a, not always in sequence but they all happen okay and I try to keep them semi-seasonal, you know, like at least within the last, at least within the last several months. And the point I was making was, if I'm uploading videos every damn day, then ain't that what I'm doing? I just don't want to be affiliated with the mentality that comes with people who consider, consider themselves YouTubers. That's what that is. That's a rejection of that characteristic. But that's what I am. Even if I don't make a dime doing it, I'm pretty much of a YouTuber full time. I don't care if it's just me journaling, brand journaling as I go on with life. It is what it is. And if people are expressing that they that they find it beneficial to them, and if that was the goal, then bitch, you YouTubing, you YouTubing, and you're a YouTuber. Not that you schedule it. But you put up videos regular as fuck. I would consider daily regular as fuck. Okay, you putting out videos like that. And I clearly am.